76% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That's according to a new survey from Bankrate. Meanwhile, 58% of Americans still believe we are never out of the recession. That's according to a Wall Street Journal NBC poll. Joining us now is James Altucher, whose latest book, Choose Yourself, Be Happy, Make Millions, and Live the Dream, attempts to be an antidote to all this negativity. So, James, welcome again, first of all. Thanks for having me on. Um, so, first of all, the, the premise of the book is this idea that you have that the middle class is dying and that these jobs that have been lost are, are never coming back. Right. There's a happy ending here, perhaps, but what, where, where, what's that premise there, based on? There is both a happy ending and a sad ending because many people still cling to the safety they think that corporate jobs and their college degree and so on have for them. But we see from all of these statistics that uh, not only are 76 Americans living paycheck to paycheck, but middle class income or just income in general is going down while inflation is going up. So eventually everybody working for corporations are either going to be fired or starved to death. I don't know what's going to happen. So it's, it's pretty scary and yet at the same time uh, people don't want to leave it. They feel that there's, if they leave it, how are they going to pay the bills? That's the common right. refrain that I get. But the reality is there are more opportunities than ever. More uh, one- or two-person businesses are starting than ever. Not everyone's an entrepreneur, but everyone can, can start brainstorming and thinking of ideas by which they can provide services and value to other people that they can charge for. It doesn't happen overnight, and I do give kind of a step-by-step -step process by which you make yourself not only have these ideas, but kind of physically, mentally, emotionally healthy so you can get ready for this leap. And it's not that you uh, want to make this leap, it's that you have to make this leap because it's going to get worse and worse for the middle class. And this is by design. So, Well, 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 well let me just challenge you for there for a second. Sure. You say it, it's inevitable that income's going to keep going down, inflation's going to keep going up, right? Henry here has been writing a lot about how corporations at some point are going to say, you know, we got to pay our workers more so they can afford to buy the products that we're making because that's good. That's beneficial for them as the corporation. Sure, but that that's not really how demand is created. I mean, what's happening right now is corporations want to make more profits, and there's ways to do that. For instance, I'm on the board of a 700 million revenue staffing company. We're seeing it, you know, or I'm seeing it, as the Fortune 500 systematically fires all their employees and outsources to temp staffing companies. I mean, the temp staffing agency is up huge while the economy is only up a little bit, which is why everyone still feels like we're in a recession. I mean, the recession's been over for four years, and right. yet we all, we can't have it. We actually all feel bad. Like, we feel really bad about the economy. But why is it? The economy keeps growing. It's because, again, the middle class is getting fired. The bulk of people are getting either downsized or outsourced or globalized or mobilized, and temp staffers are filling the holes, or, or you know, people around the world are filling the holes. So, again, you have to sort of, at this point, no one's going to pick you. You have to sort of pick yourself. You have to choose yourself as the title of my book. And there's ways to do it so that you can do it in a very kind of progressive way. It doesn't have to happen overnight so that eventually you become an idea machine. You start having your own ideas. You don't necessarily have to quit. You just have to make yourself useful, more useful than the average cubicle dweller is. And that will be the way for success. And so talk about how you get yourself there because you've always been an entrepreneur watching your career you've had yeah. many things you jump in you start something even if you get a big setback you power right through it and start something else right, but it's you not work incredibly hard you get up in insane hours you put these demands on yourself to create stuff how do you start thinking that way if you've just simply been working in a major corporation forever well it's very hard and I'll tell you, being an entrepreneur is very hard because when, when you say I've had setbacks, I've gone like ha from having millions to being completely dead broke with like zero dollars in my ATM. And I had to basically figure out how am I going to pay this stupid mortgage? How am I going to pay back student loans? How am I going to support my two children? And you kind of, you can't just say, okay, well, I'm just going to power through it. You're on the ground suicidal at that moment. And you have to basically say, okay, what worked before and then what didn't work when I lost everything. And so it's kind of corny, but the basic things that work are being physically healthy, so making sure you sleep enough and exercise enough and eat well, being emotionally healthy, which most people forget about. You have to be around people who inspire you and love you and who you love. Uh, being mentally healthy, so I always sit down and write down ideas every day, either ideas for businesses or books or articles or whatever, and then being spiritually healthy, like even when you're on the ground, still being grateful for what you have in life. And I know it sounds a little bit corny and not necessarily a talk about economics, but that's what you have to do to kind of power the batteries back up. It's the only way to kind of do it. And if you do that gradually, again, you're not going to quit the next day, but ideas are going to start to happen to you and opportunities do start to happen. Because I've seen it now, and not only in my own life, but the people who've written to me after reading you know, earlier versions of this book and, and so on.